Okay, so Bali Maharaj is the grandson of Prahlad Maharaj. He's born in the family of demons. Bali Maharaj uh, is the leader of the demons. They conquered, uh, but they, they took the help from their guru Sukracharya, and they were able to defeat the demigods and take control of the heavenly planet. Huh? I'm very nervous, too long. Bali Maharaj took help from his guru, Sukracharya. Sukracharya. Sukracharya uh, taught them how to give charity to the Brahmins. By giving charity to the Brahmins, they get a lot of benefit. At the same time, the demigods were not careful and they disobeyed the order of the Guru. The Guru of the demigods is Brihaspati. So because he disobeyed the orders of Brihaspati, Brihaspati uh, he did not bless, he did not support them, he left them. And they had no mercy from their guru, they were defeated by the demons. Bali Maharaj was very careful to serve this guru, Sukracharya. So Bali Maharaj conquered the heavenly planets, and the demons did. They ruled the heavenly planets. The demigods had to go away and hide. Then, uh, then Indra 
and the demigods, they were all in difficulty. They had no place to go. So the mother, Aditi, felt sorry for the Indra and the other demigods. So Aditi begged from her husband help that they would have a son who could help them to get back, that, who could help uh, Indra and the other demigods to get back to the heavenly planet. And the result was that Lord Bamanadev appeared as the son of and Lord Bamanadev appears in the form as a dwarf. But the dwarf, Brahmana, he's a Brahmana. He's, he's wearing the deer skin and he's wearing the Brahman thread and, and he's a very effulgent, golden colored Brahman. He appears in a wonderful and potent form and he's, he's young and he's a very attractive to all, everyone who sees him. It's the nature of the Lord that whatever form he takes, wherever he incarnates, he's always attractive. Just like the Lord comes as Bamanade, he's a boar. Now, boars are usually not very attractive. But Lord Bamanade is a Lord Varaha is also a Lord Varaha is also a in every different incarnation, he is always a train. So Lord Vamanadeva appeared, and this Brahmana boy, and he came to Bali Maharaj. Because Bali Maharaj had been told by his guru to give charity to Brahmins. Uh, when you give charity to a, even an uneducated Brahmin, it will come back an equal amount. And if the Brahmin is a little bit more qualified, then it will come back more times. And if the Brahman is a pure devotee of the Lord, then it will come back hundreds of times. And if the Brahmana is a soul completely surrendered to the Lord, then it comes back an unlimited so, in this way, Bali Maharaj was giving charity, Brahmanas were coming, and he was giving them charity. So then Lord Vamanadeva appears, and he also wants charity. But when Shukracharya saw Lord Vamanadeva, then he was suspicious. He understood this is no ordinary Brahman. And Shukracharya told Bali Maharaj that 
I don't think you should give this Brahman. I don't think you should give him charity because he may be the Lord. He may be the Supreme Lord himself, he's coming to take everything away. So Shukracharya was revealing his materialistic nature. And that he wanted his disciple to keep his money, to keep his power. Sukracharya was the, he didn't want him to surrender everything to the Lord. So if somebody tells you not to give to the Lord, not to give for the service of Krishna, then that person is not qualified to guide you. He's not really a guru. So that kind of person, that kind of guru, you can give them money. So Bali Maharaj has to, he was considering that my guru is telling me not to give him charity. But previously he'd been telling me to give charity to the Brahman. Now he's changing his mind. Now, if this person, if this Brahmana is the Supreme Lord, and if I give to him, then it's good. But if I don't give to him, he can take it away from me anyway, So it's better I give him rather than have him take it. Because if I give him, then I get the credit that I gave him. But if I don't give him and he takes it by force, then I'll lose my I lose everything and I don't get any credit also. So Bali Maharaj was thinking like this. So of course Lord Bhamana Dev came and he asked Bali Maharaj, I just want three steps of land. And so Lord Bali Maharaj said, mm, only three you're a little Brahmana, your steps are not very big. Three steps of land will not be very much. I can give you more. Just tell me what you want more. I, I can give you much more. Would you like to have a, a, a kingdom? Or would you like to have wives? I can give you all these things. But Lord Bhamanadev said, well, if I'm not satisfied with three steps of land, I won't be satisfied with, with 300,000 wives and 40 million kingdoms. You may give me so many things, but I should just be satisfied with three steps of life. 
but the Kracharya is there, the Guru is there and said, don't give him, he's going to cheat you, he'll take everything away. He is Lord Vishnu, he's come to cheat you. But Bali Maharaj thought, well, if he is Lord Vishnu, he can he he can take it but if he wants. I, I can hold on to it forever. Right, he knows one day I'm going to have to die and going to have to give up everything anyway one day. So if I give it to Krishna, if I give it myself, then I get the credit that I gave it for the service of the Lord. But if you die, and then other people will take everything. Then when, the, when the death of the body, you leave all your estate, your bank balance, your kingdom, property, it's all taken by other people. So better to give it for the service of the Lord while we're still alive. Why die and have all everybody fighting over it and taking it for their sense gratitude? So this is the intelligent thinking of Bali Maharaj. So Bali Maharaj gives us a gift. You take your three steps of land. So Guru was very angry. Disobey the order of your Guru, you go to hell for that. If you don't follow the order of the Guru, then it's a disaster in your life. So Shukracharya told Bali Maharaj, you will have to go to hell for not following my order. So, so the Guru, Bali Maharaj's Guru was telling him you're going to go to hell for not following my order. So to follow the order of the spiritual master, the order of the spiritual master is very, very important. If you disobey the order of the spiritual master, then you can never be successful. Maharaj, we are broadcasting live, so we have to be in Cantonese, but Chanjika can translate to Bumi Manaji. Because we are broadcasting to the Hong Kong devotees. Oh. Yeah, sorry. How many Hong Kong devotees? No, they will, they will, this is it's right recorded and then they, can, they will go back and listen. Now actually there's one this watching. Huh? Yeah, there's one watching live. But, one. Yeah, but they can go back and, and watch. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but Pum, uh, Chandrika can translate to Pum. <laughs> Change channel. <laughs> So, uh, so Bali Maharaj, Maharaj gave, tells Lokamana, if you take three steps of one, 
。咁快啲買水啦！咁佢話咁好啦，咁你就誒第三步啦。And Lord Brahmanadev, with the first step, he covers half the universe. And with the second step, he covers the other half of the universe. So then, Bali Maharaj, then Lord Brahmanadev says to Bali Maharaj that you, you have not being honest, you told me I could have three steps of land. Where am I supposed to take the third step? Because I've already covered all the universe, there's no space left. You promised me three steps of land. Why you broke your promise to me? And in this way, Lord Vamana Dev, he had Bali Maharaj arrested and tied up. With the ropes. And Shukracharya is laughing. Ha ha ha. See, you disobeyed the orders of the Guru. You see what happened to you? So then, Bali Maharaj says, you can take the third step on my head. So, in this way, Bali Maharaj kept his promise. Because the, his head is not part of the universe. So, in this way, Bali Maharaj was able to keep his promise to Lord Vamanadev. Take three steps. At that time, Prahlad Maharaj came, and Prahlad Maharaj was petitioned, he was saying to Lord Vamanadev, that you should be merciful to my grandson. That although he is born in a demonic family, that he has surrendered everything to you. Actually, Bali Maharaj is the example of a person who can surrender everything. Right. There are nine kinds of devotional service. Beginning with hearing and chanting. And ending with Atmani Vedana. Surrendering everything. So Bali Maharaj surrendered everything. And he had a he had a lot to surrender. You know, we may surrender a little bit, we have a little bit of wealth, a little bit of opulence. But Bali Maharaj, he had the whole of the heavenly planets, he was controlling the heavenly planets. One minute he was in 
controlling heaven. And next minute, he was a prisoner tied up with But even in that situation, he kept his vow for truthfulness. 咁但係就算喺呢個咁嘅環境、呢、这個咁嘅處境咧，咁佢咧都係誒遵守佢嘅諾言。And he surrendered even his head to the service of Lord Brahma. 咁咧最後咧，咁佢即係佢連佢自己嘅頭咧都係歸於俾誒即係主為佢服務嘅。So the result was that uh, Lord Brahma Dev sent Bali Maharaj to Sutapa Loka, which is one of the subterranean Subterranean heavenly planets, which is situated in the lower region of the universe. And that they said the planet, that the lowest in the lower region is more opulent than even the heavenly planet. 咁你話係咪好高尚嘅星球？咁佢有一個講法，呢個星球咧比即係誒天堂星球咧仲更加富裕嘅。And Bali Maharaj was told to go and recite there. 咁巴利王咧就係即係被被即係誒叫咧被叫去咧就去誒去呢個星球嗰度住。And Lord Bhagwan Dev said, I'm also coming with you, and I will be there as your doorkeeper, and no one will disturb you. 咁咧就主要話啱咧，咁佢話咁我要我會跟住你去到到你去呢個誒星球，咁高咁高嘅星球，然後我會同埋咧，我會做你嘅門衛。So this was the the arrangement of the Lord that Bali Maharaj could go there to the lower region, reside there, and the Lord was going to go with him to take care. 咁就係所有呢個咧，一切咧都係主嘅安排咧，咁就係誒。巴利王咧咁就去到一個誒，去到一個誒誒一個好高等嘅星宿咧，咁同埋咧就主阿媽阿媽哋都跟埋佢一齊去。So it's also mentioned that when Lord Bhagwan Dev was taking his steps of land, that he with one step he pierced the covering of the universe. 咁樣講法咧，咁佢就當誒主阿媽哋咧，咁佢踏出第一步嗰陣時咧，踏出誒第一步嗰陣時咧，咁佢一腳咧就踢穿咗呢個係誒。And he made a hole in the covering of the universe, and from that, the water of the cosmic ocean came through. 咁就係踢穿咗呢步之後咧，咁就係嗰個海洋，嗰個海海洋嘅水就係呢個喺個喺呢個鐵穿嗰度咧，咁就係誒流落嚟。And that water is the Ganges. 咁呢個流落嚟嘅水咧，就係恆河嘅水。So that water washed the feet of Lord Brahma. 咁呢個水咧，其實咧就係亦都係即係誒。And that water comes down through the heavenly planets, down to the earth planet, onto the head of Lord Shiva. 咁呢個啊呢個水咧就俾踢穿咗呢個水一落到去嚟咧就係啊去到啊 Shiva 嘅頭咧，同埋 Shiva 嘅主 Shiva 嘅頭咧，咁然之後再落落嚟係天堂。Lord Shiva holds that water. 咁當呢個水被踢穿落嚟嗰時咧，就係主書話咧，就係將呢個水呢個呢啲水咧，就係頂住咗，用個頭頂住咗。Because this is the foot back water of Lord Brahma. 咁其實呢個水咧，其實咧就係話主話媽的嘅佢嘅蓮花竹落嚟嘅，經過佢嘅誒蓮花竹落嚟嘅水嚟。So this is the past time of the appearance of Lord Brahma. 咁呢個咧就係主話嗰啲嘅一個係消滅時光。Okay. Any question? 有冇問題？翻過嚟。Uh, Amrish Maharaj also fully surrendered to Lord Krishna, and then what is the situation to each other compared? 咁佢咧就問 Amrish Amr Amrish 啊 Amrish， 咁佢咧應該係亦都係誒歸依俾主啦。咁佢呢個嘅歸依同埋呢個歸依有咩分別 ？Well, Amrish Maharaj we said. He used his senses in different ways for the service of the Lord. 咁啊，啱啱咧，咁佢咧，其實咧，佢嘅誒，佢嘅歸依，佢係對主咧有唔同嘅服務。But it wasn't that he was doing service like it's not like give up everything like Bali Maharaj. 但係佢嘅服務咧就唔係好似巴利馬拉咁，巴利王咁樣咧就係佢誒將所有嘅嘢都係誒供奉歸依嘅。Ambarish Maharaj was good in hearing and chanting, and he was doing all of this devotion, all of the different items of service. 
But Bali Maharaj gave up everything. Lord took everything away from us. But still he kept his vow we say Ambarish Maharaj, he liked to do devotional service. So Vaimana Krishna Pararavindya Vachamsi Vaikunta Gunan Vamane Kalo Hare Mandir Marjana Dishu Shrikim Chakarajuta Sakatodaye. Like this, Srimad Bhagavatam describes the different devotional service of Ambarish But we don't hear that the Lord took everything away. You could say he was using everything in Krishna's service. But Bali Maharaj, the Lord came and took everything away from him. So this in this helpless condition he surrendered. So it's different from Andarish. Andarish Maharaj is more doing devotion more according to uh, Sandhana Bhakti. What's the meaning of Mahaja? Because Mahaja is one of Mahaja, but Bali Maharaj is Bali is one of the Mahajans. is not. The, the Mahajans are mentioned in the sixth canto Sriman Bhagavatam by Lord uh, Yamaraj. Yamaraj is mentioning the names. Swayambhu Narada Shambhu Komar Kapilo Manu Pralado Janako Bhishmo Bali Vayasaki Vayam these are the twelve names of the Mahajans. He's showing a very great example. And Prabhupada said that of the nine kinds of devotional service, Two are very difficult to perform. One is to be Krishna's friend. And the other is to surrender everything. Right? Not, it's not easy to surrender everything. If the renunciation is in relation to Krishna, yes, yukta vairagya, the renunciation has to be in relation to Krishna. So, the devotee is actually renounced. Where there is devotion, there is also gyan, knowledge, and vairagya, and detachment. You know, we may say, oh, I'm not attached. 
But then the Krishna takes everything away. Can you please explain why is it difficult to become a friend of Krishna? Well, you have to have a person. If he's a friend, you have to have a personal relationship with him. We will want to, you know, we should be equals. Usually friendship is possible between equals. When Drona came to try to be friends with Maharaj, uh, uh, with the, the uh, Drona tried, Drona had gone to Gurukula with Drupada. And in the, the Gurukul they'd been friends and afterwards Drona was very poor and he came to Maharaj Drupada and Drupada said, no, no, I can't be friends with you. Friendship is only possible between equals. So, to trying to be equal with Krishna. It's impossible. Very difficult. So, if you say, 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 you say, if you say, if you say, if and sometimes I would even joke with you. I would teach you about your father, Vasudev, that he's not really a Kshatriya. He cannot even fight with anybody. And you don't have a kingdom, your family, Yadus, you don't have a kingdom, you're not really king. So I said, Arjuna regretted that he joked all what this kind of joking goes on between friends. The cowherd, the cowherd, the cowherd boys are friends with Krishna. They play together. Sometimes they fight with each other. Sometimes one has to carry the other on the back. So that is friendship. For us to have that kind of relationship with Krishna, we have to be very advanced. We see Krishna more like the master, like the father, we come, oh Krishna help me. But doesn't Krishna say that uh, you can take me as a friend? Well, he's the best friend of everyone. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita in the fifth chapter, 
the final verse. 咁喺佢查喺《薄伽梵歌》第五節第五章佢叫做講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講講